this love kingdom it always seems to come back to that no matter what we do it comes back to that I know some place I've seen well, they say everybody has a little bit of this with DNA in them, no matter who they are. The basic DNA that create this whole thing, they say that this person has it, this person has it, this person has it. Some, some people ask me, you know, Bobby, have you seen this? Do you know that? Maybe. Have you seen this person, that person? Maybe. What color is that person, that person? I say, why? Well, where was that person born? What part of the country? What, you know, nationality? What history that person has? Why? Don't you think we should be looking at the truth or the message that that person carry? Perhaps that message they carry would unlock that secret that you're looking for. That secret always deal with the pure heart. If your heart is not pure, where do you think you will see? If you are not of the forgiven nature, where do you think you will be? In this jungle, in this world that we live in, someone call it purgatory, <laughs> if you live in this world that we live in, you will always make mistakes. Always. You will run into people who make mistakes. Does that mean you love them less? My father and mother says to me, it seems like we will love them more. Because when my time comes to be judged, I wish for somebody to forgive me. We have to be very careful. This atmosphere that we live in is charged with negative vibration due to pollution. We have to learn how to clear it up. You see? This process of purification, it has to be one of science, so no one can blame anybody about anything. If I put one and one together, Based on theory, we are supposed to get two. But then some people say you're supposed to get three. So it has to be science, which means I can base it on my own experience. That's what we need today. I say unto you again, my brothers and sisters from planet Earth, listen please. You have polluted this planet, you have polluted it inside, outside, and even the sphere that's around the planet. The little bubble that we live in, which is so many miles up, down, has been polluted. And we're trying to carry a, a what? A trash trail throughout the universe. It is so bad that they don't tell you that they actually have what you call a space fence. A fence is around the whole earth. Why is it there? Do we need to be fenced in? Hmm. That is something we should think about. But my main purpose here is to talk about how can we keep the atmosphere clear so that which we breathe in does not affect us. How can we breathe in that which is the force which charges up that which is the nervous system and the brain system so it can work in a proper place. You see, you can live with oxygen but you cannot live without bringing in that which we refer to as the force. It is the force that charges up the brain. The brain sends the message to the nervous system and tells it what to do. That for everything has to be pure. Everything has to be pure that you breathe in, as pure as it possibly can be. Let's get busy, all of us, and work hard to keep the air pure, the soil pure, and the water pure. So be you, thank you.